Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his head. quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submission. Ah, it's crazy. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands flush with that right hand. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, man, he's a hard. Punch over the top. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus man. It is the point. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Knee coming to the body, it's blocked. Big hard punch land. Now we get back to range. Right hand upstairs. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh man, he lands another punch to the head. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up kill. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Final seconds of round one. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Watch the strike. Ooh. Straight right. Dig and kick. Nice one, two there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage.
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his pulling. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Just out of range with the straight left hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Just unable to quite find that range. There's no give on that leg kick. Big kick land. Twenty seconds to go. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land beautiful punches to the head. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punch. Third round underway. Working out of that southpaw stance. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh! That one snuck in. Nice strike. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so... Oh, oh, big knee. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, yeah, big looks one a little man. wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Cut below that left eye. And they separate. And it's oh, now. He turned his two shoe punch. And it landed exactly as he told Oh, big knee. Do something. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he missed with that right hand. 
Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Good punch. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he got it! He got it! Fifteen seconds. Side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. No problem. You got caught, you got knocked down, it's okay. You're gonna be fine. Breathe, slow that down, and let's get this back on track. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good knockout. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Check that kick as well. Oh, big shot, man. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Single collar tie now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Go finish this fight. How good is that right hand? I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so a good look like it did start a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now. Oh! Oh, look at that. He left up the hand of the diving punch to the head. Back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Wow! Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Seconds left. Jab hurt a little bit. Oh! 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 Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking. I think we're tied. We need to go 
brought down, push the pace, and start to run away with this fight. You can mix things up a little bit more. Be aggressive. You ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Continuing to work the body to great effect. He blocks the shot. in session. Beautiful punch there. Great. Oh! Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Big knee to the body! Three minutes now to go in the fight. throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, beautiful level change. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. You can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the mat, John Papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man? It's not due to a lack of effort, he continues to throw, but... Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent his very back. That'll do it! Oh! What a performance! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight.